Hey guys, what is up? Fuzzy here and welcome to another exciting DLC, The Seabound Soul. Now this DLC is named after the new Tall Tale, but it also comes with several new features like fire, ashen treasures and water pumps. Before I start, this will be a spoiler free highlight. On this channel, I cover honest gaming guides. I also stream on Twitch, so please consider subscribing, then sit back, relax and enjoy. You'll notice many new tabs available. I'll give you a quick breakdown of where to look. Under the Tall Tales tab, you will find the Seabound Souls section on the second page. And under the Bilgerat tab, you will find Ashen Treasures and New Mercenary Voyages. The Sword of Souls and the Ashen Dragon Sails are the two cosmetics you get by completing the Tall Tale. Once for the sword, three times for the sails. You can start the Seabound Soul adventure from the Captain's Quarters of the Black Witch at Shipwreck Bay. You'll notice that Stitcher Jim is taking over while Duke is away, but he comes with a new store, the Ashen Store. It contains Ashen equipment, war paint, and a new clothing set. The last six items of the Ashen Store require commendations to unlock, and I'll show you how. These are the commendations you find in the Ashen Treasures tab, which requires selling one of each tome, numbered from 1 to 5. To get these tomes, you will need two things, Ashen Chest and Ashen Key. You can acquire the Ashen Chests in three different ways. One, from the Ashen Chest Stash Voyage that you can buy from the Black Market using doubloons or gold. Two, Ashen Chest Voyage of Legends, which is required to complete for the commendation. Ashen Chest Seeker. This will spawn the Ashen Guardian that will drop a riddle to dig out the chest. You can also find them randomly around islands. Killing 30 is required for the Ashen Reaping commendation. You can also get them by fighting the skeleton fleet under the Red Ship Cloud. The final captain's ship will drop at least two ashen chests. This is not required for any commendations, so if you are only after ashen chests, the chest stash voyage will be a much better option. Now to open the chests, you need ashen keys, and you can acquire these by completing the ashen key voyages of the three regions from Stitcher Jim. Upon voting, it takes you to an island that has a skeleton captain. By killing him, you get skeleton orders that reveal key location on the same island, along with a villainous skull. Upon digging the key, an ashen skeleton captain spawns that will drop a riddle or an ashen key. Upon killing him, depending on his name, ashen key master or ashen guardian, the item will drop. By completing each voyage once and reading the note Duke left by the tavern, you will unlock all commendations under the mercenary tab. You can find fireballs and barrels. They can be equipped by opening the throwables menu, which is located inside the main radio menu. They cause fire to ships, yourself and your crew. So if you are set on fire, you can either jump in the water or use the sword block button to throw water at yourself. Campfires now require one plank to start and the lantern to ignite. They produce visible black smoke that can be seen from a distance, which could be an indicator that someone was on that island or still there cooking. Fire is a significant shift to the seas and will change the way we battle and fight. To see how this can be dealt with, follow me on my Twitch channel where I stream every Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday at 7pm GMT. Link in the description below. And as usual, you are welcome to join my Discord server. With a thousand pirates sailing the seas, we would love to have you on board. Thank you for watching and happy sailing. I own that other sloop too, so we are a fleet now. Uh, I have my friend in there. Oh. Wait, wait, where's your second in command? You. Can I be your 